Hey YouTube, I want to share with you um, something I recently uh, purchased. Um, based on sort of a long-standing infatuation with uh, Native American Indians or Indians. Uh, when I was a kid, I spent a lot of time in upstate New York and uh, used to go to Fort William Henry, Fort Ticonderoga, um, around Lake George, and um, was always always pretty infatuated with the Indians, their way of life, and um, the role in the Revolutionary War and, and, and other, and other and, and in fact, settling the United States, and um, some of their equipment. Um, talk about tactical. Uh, and this is so one of the pieces of equipment they rely heavily on, the tomahawk. So tomahawks, uh, what about us? Well, they come in a million different flavors. Um, they were a, pretty much a spiritual item, and as a matter of fact, you, you'd seldom seen a Native American Indian uh, posing for a picture uh, without the tomahawk present. Tomahawk was always there, absolutely vital piece of everyday gear, and they're they're amazing. I'm just infatuated with them. This is a custom-made tomahawk. Um, it's handmade um, by uh, Stephen Liley at Coal Creek Forge. Uh, he has a YouTube pay, uh, channel. Just uh, type in Coal Creek Forge, and Mr. Liley's channel will come up, and uh, you can actually see him take you through every step to make tomahawks, various kinds. This is a spike hawk, and uh, let's uh, let's take a little bit of a closer look at it. The blade is actually forged out of um, a jackhammer bit. Okay, uh, Mr. Liley and his uh, YouTube channel will take you through that completely. How he starts um, from that raw blank that he's gotten from a jackhammer bit, and how he uh, shapes it. Uh, into a tomahawk, how he makes the drifts, the metal, to make the tear, tear drop shape hole to accept the handle, and um, how he does some of the decorative work on it on the top of the blade. Um, this is really something in, in my book that's really special. Mr. Liley, um, I had a chance to interact with him when he was putting this together for me, um, forging it. This is the, his basic model, which I think is just fabulously beautiful. Um, he's a great guy, really nice to interact with, uh, and, and, uh, a very good tomahawk maker. He's made a lot of them. Uh, they come in all different flavors. You can you can contact him. His contact information is on his YouTube channel, and uh, he will work with you to make the tomahawk that you want. Um, let's take a close look at it. Here's the spike. Um, that's a hell of a business end, isn't it? The head, the steel head of this tomahawk's been, you know, hardened. Um, it's nice and sharp. You can see the edge here. It's, uh, it's no joke. Um, he's got his initials here. And there's CCF for Coal Creek Forge. It's a beautiful piece. The handle is um, 19 inches long. It's hickory. He flame treats it uh, and puts an oil on it. It's tough stuff. Look at the grain. Gorgeous, huh? Then just for decorative purposes, he wraps uh, what seems to be um, rawhide around it. Uh, keeps it up there. This this head this head's not coming down. If it does, you can bang it in. He hand he tests all of them to see how well they throw. This tomahawk throws really well, and um, it's just a gorgeous piece. Here's the cutting edge. You talk about tomahawks. You start to you know. Um, I want to talk about tomahawks. What what they're useful for? Well, they're just partially useful for collecting. Um, because they're fun to collect, they're definitely of historical note. Uh, versions of the tomahawk were actually, um, you know, used similarly to uh, a belt axe, and um, were really, really part of the EDC of people uh, in the 17 and 1800s that uh, were interacting or passing through 
the forest or traveling quite a bit. Um, tactical weapon, huh? You know, and you're sitting there, I'm sure all of you have seen uh, the Patriot, Mel Gibson and the Patriot. He was, uh, his character was quite the tomahawk user. Uh, but, you know, back in the day when you had a single shot with your flintlock, um, the second line of defense was usually uh, using that rifle as a club uh, and grabbing this off your belt uh, and engaging the person I was intending to do you harm. So the military or self-defense issue purposes, um, they were very used, uh, very much used even by white settlers and of course the Native Americans um, uh, were particularly good at using the tomahawk um, for um, conducting warfare, battles, etc. Look at the top of the blade here. Look at the beautiful work. This thing is um, in my my opinion, a, a real masterpiece and representation of what a tomahawk should be. Um, I've looked at many of them before I contacted Mr. Liley, and I was really taken by these tomahawks. You can you can contact him. Uh, he'll make a pie pop for you. He'll he'll carve something into the blade, which is typical of the Indians, like uh, a teardrop heart. Um, that was uh, part of the uh, symbolism that went with the tomahawk and sort of represented uh, something about the tomahawk that they held dearly. And, um, you know, when, when you consider what you're getting, um, you, know, you can contact Mr. Liley and talk to him about what it would cost to make a tomahawk, but uh, you're getting a bargain. You're supporting a true craftsman. Uh, Mr. Liley is a... Uh, a blacksmith. He has a forge, um, and uh, it's just, you know, I, I I think it's just fantastic to support the the, the know-how of these individuals to um, perpetuate their craft and to um, perpetuate and support the artistry of what goes on behind this. To me, this isn't just about banging out a piece of metal uh, after you heated it. This is really sort of having an artistic feel and a sense of craftsmanship and, and uh, skill set to be able to assemble something that is uh, magnificent. I'll show you something cool on this tomahawk that my kids pointed out to me. Uh, they think it's a magical tomahawk. Uh, in, in the metal here, just how during the forging, uh, they think this is a dragon. See the snout, the eye, dragon horn, neck. <laughs> hey, listen, if the kids like it, it's got to be good as far as I'm concerned. Lots of people get on YouTube and talk about home defense, and uh, and I'm not trying to sound like one of these W-R-O-L weirdos, but, um, man, um, I wouldn't want to be confronted by one of these, you know? You keep this by your bed stand, somebody comes into your house and they're greeted by your German Shepherd and you wielding this thing. Yikes. Run away. You better run away or else you're going to get uh, carried away in a box. Coal Creek Forge. Check out Mr. Liley's stuff. Really, really great. It's really top notch. Uh, I'm going to take it out and do some uh, throwing with this. We'll do a video on it. 18 inch handle. It, um, it, it's balanced just beautifully. The balance is right about here, sort of just below the point of the blade. Um, and let me tell you, oh, I want to point out something about the beard. That's very useful because you can actually grab uh, with that. So you can grab something and pull it towards you with that. Uh, whatever that might be, um, you, you decide. Uh, Tomahawks, they're, uh, they're making a big resurgence because um, because of their utility. In fact, the military loves them. Uh, it started, I think, in Vietnam where people were actually, American troops were using tomahawks. Uh, now in the Middle East, um, they're using tomahawks a lot. Um, uh, they're using tactical tomahawks. I'm sure you've heard about them. This is my old school tactical tomahawk. The tactical tomahawk's great as a breaching tool. It's great as a self-defense tool. 
And uh, you must keep in mind, there are, there's many cultures that actually um, respect the blade more than they respect the gun. Okay? This has a powerful emotional effect on people, the tomahawk. Um, I think that needs to be respected and admired. Uh, Mr. Liley does a great job at that. Um, he cares about this craft. craft. If you watch his YouTube channel, it will become readily apparent to you that he is an individual that's interested in passing this craft on to the next generation. I think that speaks volumes. Coal Creek Forge. Spike Hawk. A thing of beauty. A thing of utility. Something from days gone by. Um, that sort of has remained timeless in, in our in our consciousness.